when you first open M block, it's going to look like this. But this isn't the environment we want to use. We want to use the Arduino mode. So click on Arduino mode like that. Okay, now, so we're going to firstly build our program, our sketch. And from there, we're going to send it to our MBOT. Okay, so we always start with MBOT program. Now, the next thing I want you to always get in the habit of doing is do a wait until as the first block. And wait until, we're going to be waiting until the onboard button is pressed. Now, the reason for that, you imagine, so you send your sketch to the MBOT and say it's, it's a program you know, using the wheels. It, 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 uh, it sends it sends to the MBOT, the MBOT drives off your bench, which you obviously don't want. So to avoid that, what I need you to do is a couple of things. When it's on the bench like this, I need you to have it turned upside down like this. Um, and that way, if you do send the program and the wheels start to turn, it's not going to go off the bench. But you also do need to have it on. So the on button is just here. So we'll turn that on. And did you hear it just communicate with the computer? So we're going to have it on, but upside down. All right. Now, so the next thing we're going to do, though, is wait until the onboard button is pressed. So there's a button here on the top. And when we press that, that's when the program is going to run, but not until then. I'm going to look, so we've got two um, safeguards to make sure it doesn't roll off the bench when we don't want it to. Okay, so wait until onboard button is pressed. Now we're going to do a simple program here where we're going to get the onboard LEDs. There's LED lights here. We're going to get them to flash. Okay, so first of all we're going to set up a forever loop um, because we want them to flash continuously. And then we need to control our LEDs. So these are robot blocks. And the LEDs, the onboard LEDs. So we'll grab that first. In fact, what I'm going to do is just going to put it down here for now because I'm going to do some duplication. So what we want to do is for this first one, we'll set the left LED and we'll make it red. So that's just the brightness of it or the intensity. And we want it to run red for one second, and then we want it to turn off. So that will just turn it off. How long do we want it to turn off for? Well, let's just say 0.1 of a second. Okay, now after that, we want to do the same thing with our right button. And we want the right button to be blue. Okay. So if we snap that in, let's see, what have we got? MBOT program, wait until the onboard button is pressed, then it's going to make the, um, the left LED red for one second, and then it's going to stop. And then for 0.1 of a second, then it's going to make the right LED blue for a second, and then it's going to stop, and then it's going to repeat this again. I think that's all we need. All right. So now we just need to make sure our Arduino, our uh, MBOT is connected. So we go to the serial port and select the serial port. And then we need to upload to Arduino and that's on its way. Now this takes a little while because it's got to compile and send. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when it's done. So you can see that it's upload has finished now. All right, so the program has been sent to our M block, M bot, from M block, M block to M bot. Okay, so now remember it's not going to start until we press this on board button. So let's do that. Here we go. We've got our red and our blue lights. Exactly what we want it to do. There you go, and we're done.